and we're live. Let's see how this camera takes up. I really don't don't feel like turning on the overhead light for this session because I'm in a shit fuck mood and I want to have some nice calm lighting. So let's see who shows up. Let me go ahead and um, see if I can't find some shit out. What is up, Boop? How you doing, brother? Nice to see you. I don't know where Chad is. I texted him this morning. Hope he's all right. Um, I texted him a couple times trying to see where the hell he was at, but I'm hoping he's just sleeping or something. How is everybody else doing? Buick, what is up, my brother? Is the lighting too low? Should I turn on some more light in this biatch? I kind of feel like it is, but... I'm just lazy and liking the low lighting. What is up, Grandma? Yeah, I know he's been having his problems with his fucking leg, so I don't know if maybe he's back in the hospital or... What the hell's going on? So I texted him this morning at 8 o'clock, two hours before we went live, and he never wrote me back. So I was like, all right. And I just didn't go live and waited. Text him again around 12, and he still hasn't texted me back. So hopefully he's all right. Trying to stay cool. What is up? Looks like we got four people watching and two thumbs up. And some dumb kids upstairs on the floor. <laughs> Just vaping on my PWM that I made. Some vape tasia. It's all good, man. It's not a requirement that you hit the thumbs up. I do appreciate it, though. Anyways, I'm glad y'all are here. Um, while you are, I might as well fucking do another build or something, right? Stop playing with the floor. Thank you. I appreciate that. really don't want to take it out and put something different in it. 
but I do at the same time. <clears throat> I really need to pull this apart. Clean whatever monstrosity is out of this fucking thing. So I can put some sort of got off the building this to put on top of the PWA. That's what I'm hoping for soon. If I get the time for that, that is what will happen. Until then, run my V3, Elite V3 on top of there from Immortal Mods, I believe that is. Um, I believe. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, anybody. Put that user in timeout. You just got put in timeout. Take that. So what is everybody vaping on tonight? Today? Whatever the hell this is right now. It's night in some places, right? So we have five watching. We ain't got five chatting, though. Where's everybody at? Maybe I'm just not getting all the chat. And that's possible too. Let's pull open this stupefied thing. Check it out. Doing some DIY? What kind of DIY are you doing, man? Yeah, that's that's Lacey and Marcellus that I put in timeout, Grandma. Hell yeah, Don, what is up? Nice to see you out here. Most of the important people have already showed up, right? Can't complain about that. We got seven watching, four thumbs up. Jewel pod, Jesus Christ, man. We don't sell that shit here. Working on this. Let me see. I'll click on it on this laptop so I can check it out. Let's see. Instead of uh, instead of six point three on the nicotine, you're going with a uh, holy shit. I mean, instead of forty eight milligram nicotine juice, you're making three to three point five percent. So thirty. So thirty five milligram is what you're looking on. Super sweet lemon natural cherry black berry jam. Mm. A little like it'd be delicious. I can say that. Or is that the red, white, and blue pop you sent? You sent me the red, white, and blue pop. Oh, the lemonade is too much. <clears throat> you 
yeah, lemonade is a the lemon flavors are typically a very strong um, flavor, and then I wouldn't have even put it at at a four point five percent when the other flavors were only at three or one. And yeah, like, that's gonna definitely be the overpowering flavor in them. Marshmallow milk. How's that? What are you getting for, for toys and vape mail, Don? Mosquito and shit. Hmm. Yeah, I could see that. It's a good start. It is a definitely a good start, James. Damn, Don. I wish I'd be having vape mail coming through like that. I haven't made any uh, DIY juice in a little bit. I've got a ton of flavor concentrates, but nothing that I really have found very appealing. Um, so I haven't made too many since the last tryout I had on this, this YouTube channel. So I need to find me a decent flavor to make. I mean, I love the lemons. I love the, the cereal flavors. I mean, I just need to find something decent and go with it. Try at RDA. Dude, Flavor West has a lot of awesome fucking flavors. I'm going to have to try out their strawberry lemonade. I also want to try out a limeade that they've got. Um, oh, I, I, that's the only company I've had that's actually somewhat impressed me. What do you need, bud? I'm going to know if I can make this a candy. Um, when I'm done with this live. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Damn kids. Yeah. Yeah, get on there. Jimmy James, good to see you on live chat, man. It's been a while. Changed your picture and everything I see. Hell yeah, you've been busy, man. You sent me some pictures of some stuff you're doing on your off time. I don't even, I can't even fucking... Begin to think of what you do during the busy week.
The best limeade I ever had was still from Verdict Vapors, man. That was the best shit I ever, ever had. Tastes like one of them Jello cups with the fruit in the bottom. Oh, so good. Eight people watching, six thumbs up. Thank you all for coming for the support. <clears throat> <laughs> Try it, Don. I love Ava too. What's up, Ape and Jason? How you doing, buddy? Get wind in the fucking basement. I don't even have any air vents right here. Fuck yeah. I it's literally all I order is um is VG and nicotine in my flavorings. I don't even order PG anymore because I, you know, the amount of PG I use for flavorings and my nicotine, it's right around where I want to be anyway which is really high in VG. Hell yeah. I don't think they have a new one. I, that That's it, I do believe. If they do have a new one, I need to try that. If I need to try everything limeade, everything lemon, and everything cereal. Those are my my favorite go-to vapes at the moment. <clears throat> no, not new. Could be new to you. Could be new to anybody who tries it. I I love DIY. That's my thing. You got to go out and try it yourself. I mean, I've been doing it ever since I started buying juice. I bought my first couple bottles of juice, and I was like, hmm, I really like vaping, but why would I pay for it when I can make it? I mean, let's fucking make it. So I learned how to make it. that rounds out the DIY. Hmm. No, I've never tried that. What's that all about, Jimmy James? How is your DIY venture going, by the way? How did you like your flavors and shit? Like, are you still loving it? Right? It's a hit or miss type thing. Like once you find your flavor profile, you'll know where to go and what to search for. Um, I found a lot of different concentrates that were fucking garbage. Um, but in the same token, I found a lot that was really good. So it's just a matter of what you're trying to venture into.
Fuck yeah. Anything with lemon is amazing, man. If you get that down on point, I want some. <laughs> hmm. That sounds interesting, Buick. Calm down upstairs and be good. You ain't gonna get no candy. Keep hoping, uh, Loco two door will be in the, in the fucking live chats every now and again. Um, he sent a picture to me of a of the drip daddy um, for your car one day, and was like, "Oh, dude, I'm gonna get one of these," and I impulsively bought one. So I should be getting one in the next couple weeks. Um, basically, it's a little caddy that suctions to like the side of your windshield or something like that and uh you can use it to drip that way you don't have to fucking pull over to drip while you're driving or something like that and i'm not really not even positive if it's legal in the united states but i ordered it from the uk anyways for fun i'm gonna test the fuck out of it Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, James. And that's your new mix that you've changed up? Noted is a good show. I've never heard of it. I'm going to have to check it out. Caramel cinnamon. Mmm, that sounds delicious. 3% lemonade instead of 4.5. And then it's like 1% one, 1 on the fucking cherry and 3% on the blueberry. Is that what you got in there? Sounds good. Sounds real good. Mm. I had a blueberry lemonade that was really decent. Really decent. Um, I can't remember what the fuck the company was from. It just said lemonade across the front. And then it said blueberry lemonade and blah, blah, blah on the bottom. But it was pretty decent. Mellow, thick, and smooth adds depth to your juice. Hmm. Interesting. Be careful as it has no flavor of its own. So it's just like a thickener or something like that. How weird. Missy, what is up? I didn't even know you was here. Adds body to a vape. Interesting. Makes it more bold, less less 
undertony? Is that what you're trying to say here? Like it'll it'll pull out that flavor and make it pop. I'm not surprised. That's pretty badass, Don. I'll be interested in trying it. I told those kids upstairs they got to be good for an hour. I don't. They don't have the fucking patience or the time, time you know concept to to be good for an hour. So we'll see how this goes. I can't wait to try it all. I'll try it all. It'll be fun. I worry about Chad. I hope he's all right. <clears throat> it's not like him to not text me back for the whole fucking day on, on live day. E and B, I've heard a lot about them. Um, they're not as up, up as, uh, as some of the companies are, but I've never had a bad juice from them, ever. Jennifer, what is up? Hi, Mom. Good to see you in here. Yeah, that's true. He was having issues with his streaming. I didn't think about that. Maybe his internet is down and he can't do shit right now. I gave him a shout out. Today I've I've talked to him or tried to talk to him a couple times, so I don't know, maybe his cell phone service and shit is not working. Nine people watching and nine thumbs up. Fuck yeah. Back in the day when I was a little more active on here, I used to remember we had like 17 to 25 people on here dicking around. <clears throat> that was a lot to keep track of. I love a good banana bake when it's good, but there's a lot out there that are fucking garbage. I've tried a lot. Have you been doing videos and stuff, vaping, vaping Jason? I don't know that I'm subscribed to you, honestly. I kind of feel like a dick for not knowing. Let me check this out. I'm not even subscribed to you. Now I feel like a real dick. All right, I'm subscribed now. I got the, the note bell on. Twenty twenty four. What are you having issues with, man? I remember back in the day when Chad was starting too. That was fun fucking times. I had just started, you know, a couple of months before Chad started, and me and him were talking back and forth and and he was having a lot of issues and wanting to do it. And we had a lot of fucking fun. And now here he is about to pass me up. Hell yeah.
Chad was one of my first people on here dicking around talking to me. Um, actually kept me going for a long time doing lives and shit showing up. And he was one of the only people talking on my fucking live streams back then, the one or two people. And eventually he was like, I really like this stuff. I want to do it. I mean, he's always wanted to do it. I was just like, dude, fucking do it. What is stopping you? And I know his ass will go far if he keeps on. Me, on the other hand, I do lives once a week and I dick around. Like, I know I'm not going to be YouTube famous, but Chad could Chad could very well do it with the, with the, uh, with the nuts he has. He's always on top of this shit. Right back when I was vaping pickle juice and hot sauce and shit. <laughs> yeah, Chad's good people. <clears throat> Jesus, man, you are having fucking troubles. I started off on my cell phone when they still allowed you to do cell phone streaming and stuff like that. <laughs> and I had a decent, decent cell phone, so it wasn't bad at all. Um, luckily, I, I had bought a camera and started doing all this shit and got to do this before they stopped letting you do lives on your phone. But then again, I spent like, you know, $300 on my camera and fucking a hundred dollars, a hundred plus dollars on just being able to hook it up to the computer. It's, 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 a, it's a process just to do it. Thank you, Don. I appreciate you, brother. Hell yeah, I actually had to disconnect my mic from my camera because the one on my camera is a little more clear. Well, not necessarily a little more clear, but a little less uh, feedbacky than the one that I had for it because it picked up everything. Like it would pick up the buzz of the TV, you'd be hearing it and be like, what the fuck? Why is that so goddamn loud? Like it was too much. Dude, I bought a, uh, what the fuck was it called? Ain't naming on here. Some sort of special cam link. Anywho, a special cam link that is used for like gaming and shit like that. And in order to hook my camera up to my laptop. And it was, it was a fucking retard process. I can give you that. Yep, you can hear the washer in the next room and shit. Well, I was running my clothes when I started this live video, and I don't really give a shit. Mm -hmm. um, I guess if you're going to record like a straight review, it can be a pain in the fucking ass when that kind of stuff happens. But uh, as of lately, um, I don't worry about that. Most people know that you have a life and shit like that. If you're not getting paid to do this, you don't need to fucking care. Like, people are still going to watch reviews if you have content that they want to see.
I've seen some really fucked up, shitty picture, pixels, sound quality, and everything. Videos that were god awful, but they got you know thousands, hundred thousands of views. So I mean, it's a matter of content, not necessarily how you display it. Um, sure, it's what's appealing to the eye. Um, will will get more people to come see your videos and things like that, but. Just because you have a little bit of problems with your your mic, you know, showing people your dryer or kids in the background or a dog barking or something, eh, don't worry about it. People know you got a normal life, you know, that isn't on the camera, and they're not going to be like, "Oh, this guy's an idiot. He had fucking he was doing his laundry." Like, hey, do you do your fucking laundry? I do mine. Don't worry about it, man. Brandy in the house. What is up, Brandy? No shit. Three kids to clean up after all day. I feel that. My woman I'm with uh, has her three kids right now. And then my two kids on top of that. So it's a it's a full day, a full day chore. Sound like Jason just needs a better RDA in general. Um, <clears throat> if it's horrible, get rid of it. We got 10 watching and 11 thumbs up. Fuck yeah. Dude, in my first videos, I was the same way. Everything was recorded and it was uh, edited and it had to be clear and it had to be right. <coughs> it's just how it is. Eventually, it won't bother you so much. Maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a teacup Great Dane? How big is that exactly? Like the size of a normal dog or what? The exact same size as a pit bull. <laughs> uh, I bet that's fun. Blue nose pit bulls are fucking awesome. 
I would go for the goon. I'm not a big fan of the profile at all, Fape and Jason. A lot of people love it because of the, the flavor it gives and how cool the vape is, but as far as I'm concerned, it's fucking worthless because it's not a hot enough vape, and the flavor just isn't there for me, being a, a, a warm vapor. I wouldn't speak to the profile at all. I would throw it away, you know? but a lot of people love it. And I'm not, I can't dog on everybody else's opinion just because I don't. Um, but you know, it's not for me. You can get good vapor, but it's too cold and not quite flavorful enough in my opinion. Not quite. Did your puppy when he was little? He's adorable. What the fuck? There's Jimmy James, man. I knew I missed somebody in the shout out, but he wasn't talking. No worries, man. I just seen you pop in. I'm like, I didn't say his name when I shouted everybody out. Shit. The drop solo is my fucking, I love the drop solo. I really did. I broke it, but I loved it. Um, I can, I can attest how great that thing is. Recurve I've never had. I've always wanted one of them Trinity glass caps on a on a mod, man. Ah, oh. I just never, I never could bring myself to to buy one. Ten watching, eleven thumbs up. Fuck yeah, guys. Trinity Glass. Um, you have to go. I think it's just TrinityGlass.com. Honestly. <sighs> the afterbirth. <laughs> Is it fast tech? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, Jason. Here we are approaching the end of our video and you know as you guys could probably guess I've got to take a shit. <clears throat> That's typically how the end of these videos happen.
<laughs> That's just how it always happens. I'm probably going to take a voop right after this video. I'm going to shit up that bathroom. Going to smell like some fucking, what do we got going on here? Some lemon killer custard shits. Some fucking cinna shits. Some apple citrus. Some something. It'll, t it'll smell good in there. Yeah, me and Don have a similar a similar taste in RDAs. Ooh, that's never good, Grandma. All right, have it done. I love you, Stu. What is up, my brother? Um, I honestly like. I haven't really put it down. I've been using the fuck out of this elite. I love the way the mouthpiece is. I, I like the way it vapes. I haven't had any fucking problems with it. Like, at all yet. So. Mm. Even has the dual clamp style deck where you don't even have to fucking tweak your coil as much at all to put them in. Like, it's awesome. What's up on the 19th, Stu? we got going on everybody holy shit i really want to get the colorado that's my ultimate mod uh or my ultimate um rda that i want to get really really bad i will probably never sprunge to buy it because it's 100 bucks but that's that's my mod that i want um, it would be the bomb and then I put like 20 coils in that biatch. I have not tried the Passage RDA yet. Axial RDA. Not a whole lot, dude. Just taking care of kids, bullshitting. Figured I'd get alive in on this fine Sunday. Um, had to. Why not? <clears throat> what about you, Stu?
Right. Definitely let us know your thoughts on it, man. Oh, you're Kennedy. So that's on the 19th. Yeah, I like, uh, I'm not a big fan of that. the way it looks, but maybe a little vape fucking real nice. $3. Oh, your glass. Right on, Buick. Thank you for coming, buddy. Have a good dinner. Enjoy your night. I will be getting off here shortly as well. We already got 13 thumbs up. Fuck yeah, that is awesome. I was not expecting to get that much. Slowly, slowly dwindling. A little less, a little more, a little less, a little more. Somebody just popped in the live chat. We went from six to seven. Who's out there? What is up? Eighteen six fifty series month. Fuck yeah. Are you building it or buying it? Or building it to buy it. Chilling, vaping, right on. My kids are actually a little bit calm right now upstairs. I know they won't be once I get off this live. They're going to be going, bah! but, uh, now we're chilling, calm, relaxed. I really got to go take a shit, so I'll probably end up leaving this live show a teeny bit early. We've been going about, let's see, 53, 54 minutes right now. I'll try to, I'll try to make it, guys. Right on, Dom. Fuck yeah. Strawberries cake. Fuck yeah, dude. I feel like anything that's been steeping a real long time ends up real good. At least a lot better than it started. Like the flavor just mm, sets. Some vanilla custard my uncle made. This is the second batch or third batch. Kind of changed it up a little bit. It's been steeped for a couple few weeks.
I have found a pretty a couple pretty good decent fucking uh, root beer flow flavors as well. Um, I really like a root beer vape. I do. Do you have a time planned for your live show, Jason, or no? Don's asking, wants to watch. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with just Flavor West. All of our flavor concentrates got to come from somewhere. Ah, okay. I'm <coughs> 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 about to kill myself. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to kick this <coughs> show off, get myself out of here, go upstairs, take me a size of bullshit, <coughs> and enjoy the rest of my day. I love y'all. I appreciate you being here. It was a great live show, as always is, and I hope to see you again next Sunday. Um, you guys have a good night. Not a dry hit, just too much at once, man. I was a bitch on that hit. I'll give you another one for the road. Have a good night, guys.